hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add player movement to this character so in general the movement in unity can be done by using two different ways the first one is by using the rigid body component and the second one is by using the character controller component and these both two have their advantages and disadvantages depending on what you want to do so everyone wants a controller in which it has the gravity jumping drag slope steps in air movement sprinting crouching and interacting with physics objects so some of these are easier to do with the character controller component and some of are with the rigid body component for example in the character controller we can handle steps slopes and also we doesn't get stuck on walls as you see in most of the games our character stuck on the walls okay the character body parts just touch with the or you can say go inside the walls and also character controller is easy to make snappy and for the rigid body the rigid body comes with a built-in gravity and drag and also it interacts with the physics objects so for this game we will create a character controller in which we will handle the movement the gravity and also the surface checking we will also add jumping and also the in-air movement we will also control the step slopes and also we will make sure that it doesn't stuck on balls okay so with that let's click on our player and right here let's add a character controller let me drag and drop this right there and if you turn on the gizmos as you can see here is the character controller it is inside the ground but we don't want that so let's change the center y value to one and as you can see it is above the ground okay let me click on these this again okay i think it covers the whole player correctly as you can see now we can just simply run off the gizmos let's create a script for our player so in the assets we will create a new folder let's name this folder as scripts and inside the scripts we will create a new c sharp script let's name this as player script now let's click on the player let's drag and drop that right here on the top okay now let's open this up in the visual studio code or whatever text editor you are using right here we will remove that two functions right here let's add a header and as you know by the name this will be a heading and the first heading will be player movement then the next heading will be the player animator and gravity inside this player animator and gravity let's create a public character controller and let's name this as cc or you can name this whatever you want but i will name this as cc which means character controller and right here in the player movement we will create a public float by the name of player speed and by default the player speed will be 1.9f now if we save this script and get back to unity right here as you can see we have the player speed and then we need to assign the character controller so we will simply drag and drop the character controller in there now after this right down below we will create a function by the name of player move and inside this player move we will type a code in order to move our player so inside this function we will gather some information okay so 
when we press the arrow keys or the WASD keys then we want the player to move so for that let's get some horizontal and vertical inputs let's create a float and we will say horizontal underscore x is this will be equals to input dot get x is raw and we will get the horizontal axis after this let's create a float for the vertical so we will say vertical underscore axis and then we will say input dot get axis raw and we will simply type vertical so let me tell you this horizontal is for the uh, left or right arrow key or we can say the a and g key okay it will go between negative one and one so if we press the a key or you can say the left arrow key then the value will be negative one and if we press the d key or the right arrow key then it will be one and the same for the vertical the vertical is the up and down arrow key and the w and s arrow key so if we press the s it will be negative one and if we press the w or the up key it will be one okay so that's how this works after this we will create a vector three which is going to store our direction so we will name this as vector three direction right here vector three and we will pass the horizontal axis and for the z axis we will pass zero and for the vertical axis or you can say for the y axis we will pass the vertical axis okay and then we want it to be normalized so we will use the dot normalized after this we want the character to move in that direction where the player wants to move for example if the player press the w key then we want to move the player in the forward direction if we press the s then in the backward direction if we press the d then right and for the a it will be left so we have the vector 3 now so we will say direction dot magnitude so if the magnitude is greater than or equals to 0.1 f then we want to move so we will say cc or you can say character controller dot move then we will say direction dot normalize and we will multiply that by the player speed okay because we want to move the player in this value okay the player speed which is 1.9 and then we want to move it according to the time so we will say time dot delta time that's it after this right here let's create a update function and inside this update we will call the player move function and as you know this update function is called once per frame now simply save this get back to unity make sure you assign the character controller and now if we play the game you will notice that when we press the w key as you can see it moves in the forward direction and also we press the up arrow key as you can see it moves and now if we press the s or the down arrow key as you can see it moves backward now let's press the a button it moves to the left let's press the left arrow key as you can see it moves to the left now let's press the t it moves to the right let's press the right arrow key it moves to the right so now we have some basic movement added to our player and I hope you understand this code. This is just a simple basic code.
right here we created this public float which is player speed and then we added a reference to our character controller and then inside this function we gather some inputs okay as i told you on the horizontal it is the w s key and on the vertical it is the a and d key okay and then we created this vector three direction in which we told the player the direction and we normalize that direction and after that we check if the direction dot magnitude is greater than or equals to 0.1 f and when the magnitude is greater than or equals to 0.1 f then then we use this you know the default function which is dot move so we simply move the character controller in that direction as i show you when you press the w key the player move forward and when you press the s key it moves backward and when you press the a key it moves to the left and when you press the t key it moves to the right so in this way you can add basic movement to your player i hope you understand and with this done catch you guys in the next video